Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're gonna be talking about a workflow that I use pretty often. I'm actually gonna show you two different ways to do this, uh, which is to answer the question, when was this fix released? Uh, I was recently helping a friend of mine update their website from Python 3.7 to Python 3.9, and they hadn't touched it for a couple of years and had several hundred dependencies they needed to upgrade. And a bunch of them, at the versions they had pinned before, didn't support Python 3.9, and so they had to do a bunch of work to upgrade though, then, and I helped them through that. And uh, I wanted to show you a couple of workflows that I used while I was doing this to help them figure out which version was the minimum version they needed to upgrade to. Uh, to set the stage, we're gonna pick a particular package just because it <laughs> demos nicely uh, and installs quickly. And that package is zope.interface. And before, uh, before we upgraded it, they were installing a version, uh, I want to say it was 4.6.0. Might have been something slightly older than that. Uh, but you'll see that this installs cleanly on Python 3.7. And this is because there's a pre-built wheel for this. I'll actually show you <laughs> a third workflow. Yeah, we'll get three, uh, three for one in this. Uh, but when they went to switch to Python 3.9, VM Python 3.9. Oh, that's not going to tap complete, is it? Oops. Oh well. When they went to switch to Python 3.9 and run the same pip install command, uh, it would error out with this particular cannot import name feature. And this was actually like a really, really good hint for me to figure out where this was going wrong and what version we might need to use in order to get past this. Now, in this case, it's also trivial to just you know, install the latest version, which doesn't have this problem. So if we just you know, unbound it here and bump to the latest version, 5.9 supports Python 3.9, and so installs, installs cleanly. Uh, but <laughs> this video wouldn't be that interesting uh, without that. So let's uh, jump into the GitHub repo and show you how I would find when this got fixed. And so in order to do that, we're going to go to, I don't even know where it is, Zope Interface GitHub. I can see the search is still there from last time I did this. Uh, and we're going to clone this repo and show how I found this. So if we go to Zope Interface, you'll see that this particular error message mentions feature and setup tools inside setup.py. And so just to confirm that it's been fixed, we're going to open up setup.py and you'll see that the word feature isn't in here anymore. But the first question is, okay, when did that word feature get uh, removed from setup.py? And to find that, you can use git log dash capital G. I use this all the time. Very, very powerful tool. Uh, what this dash capital G does is it checks when this uh, text here, this regular expression, was added or removed from the history. And we can also scope it specifically to setup.py by doing dash dash setup.py here. And that'll tell us when this text had been changed in there. And you can see there's a, you know, a bunch of commits here where that line changed. This is where it was originally introduced. And this one up here, remove deprecated use of setup tools feature. And this is when it was removed. Uh, so now we know the commit in which this uh, thing was fixed. And we can actually do uh, git log dash little p, which will show us the patch here. You can see here. They adjusted this import line here to no longer mention feature, and that fixed the problem. Uh, now that we know the commit, we don't quite know when it was released, and I'm gonna show you two different ways to find out when it was released. The first is to find that commit on GitHub. So if we click on any sort of commit here, paste the commit hash in here. GitHub will actually tell you the first version in which that fix was released. So that's what this sort of grayed out tag name is here. Uh, now, I don't really like clicking around on the web, so I'm going to show you how to find this using git. And the git command we're going to be using is git describe dash dash contains, and then the commit revision here. This will tell us the first tag, uh, that same 472 here. There's also some other stuff on the end here. I believe you can do exact, uh, is it, <laughs> it's a briv equals zero. I don't know. There's some option to get described where it'll tell you the uh, the commit without the junk on the end. I think this this is telling you that it was several commits before that. Uh, but anyway, this will tell us the first version that we can use in our install command here to get a Python 3.9 compatible Zopdot interface. If we run this here, it still has to build from source, which I'll, I'll we'll get to that in a second. Uh, but it you know is able to install 
cleanly. Okay, so that's how you can tell when it was released. Uh, I also wanted to show you a little workflow related to this, which is how you can tell when something is supported. And uh, I went over this in the wheel video, which I will link in the description. But if you take a look at the package, zope.interface, pypi.org slash simple slash zope.interface, this will list all of the versions of a package here. Um, and particularly, we're looking for wheels here. And the one we're looking for is the first time we see a CP39 wheel. Now, it looks like the first time they actually uploaded wheels for Python 3.9 is in Zope Interface 5.2. That would be that would be probably the first version that I would actually try and use Zope Interface for. Now this is specific to uh, non pure lib wheels. Nor pure lib wheels you'll see you know, Py3 non any for instance. But this might be the first version that I would check. Anyway, hopefully you found this useful. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.